As a result of the change of the Family Law Act in 2006, parents can't just go straight to court in order to resolve their matters once they've separated, unless it's for under particular circumstances. For example, where there's some urgency or severe safety concerns, but generally speaking, the rule is that you do need to try mediation. Your, I guess, ability to show that you've tried mediation is to obtain from the mediator what's called a Section 60i certificate. Many people can't afford a lawyer just about everybody can afford the a subsidised fee at a family relationship centre. My understanding of the court system is it can take quite a number of years to reach a final decision and that involves a number of hearings and mentions and um, gathering evidence and meeting with your lawyer. And it is quite a costly service as well as a service that can take years to go through and have an emotional toll on all of the participants as well. Generally speaking it's reserved for people in really high conflict or with really complex cases. The feedback from parents is that it can be quite draining emotionally and financially. Whereas coming to mediation, you meet with the mediator, then you have your mediation with the other parent and more often than not agreements can be reached and starting to put into practice fairly quickly. And what we provide is a platform for people to make their own agreements which can be really empowering for clients and for them it's their opportunity to really take into account their kids individual needs. It's not about one parent winning and the other parent losing. Whatever's discussed and agreed to in mediation is not legally binding. If parents want to take their agreement and make it legally binding, they can take steps to do so. It's really up to parents how they want to proceed. Some parents are quite happy with a goodwill, good faith agreement. Some parents request uh, that they have something more legally binding and that's when we inform them that they do have that option to make an application for consent orders. So we would always recommend that they seek some legal advice just to make sure that they're comfortable, that they understand what they're committing to before they turn it into a legal document. The mediators in a family relationship centre are looking to help parents make their plan that are going to work for them and their children.